Hey guys, welcome back. It's Green Reaper coming at you for another video for Ray's Shadows. Today we got a good video. I'm gonna do a showcase today. Hopefully you guys are well. Hopefully you, you are um getting on with the weekend, getting on the fusion, and and having really good pulls and sharp pulls. I know the past couple of days I had a bit of bad luck on Friday. I had a really good luck yesterday on Unknown's account. Go check out the video at the end of this. I'll ping at the end um so today i wanted to do something a bit different i want to do a champion showcase on a champion i haven't done in a long time actually i've never done a champion showcase as champion and he's actually like one of my favorite og champions he was a guaranteed champion back in the day he was meta for a very very long time and i have a different style of build on him that i just want to refresh everyone's knowledge and I've, i generally believe that this is the best build for him for life arena Previous is free and probably classic as well. So I want to go ahead and show you this build and stuff like that. We have got quite a bit of stats on it, but it's not empowered or um, highly level blessed. It's just level two blessing, which is really, really cool. Uh, we will go into arena. Unfortunately, live arena isn't open, but you can actually see him, uh, me use him in my live arena teams as well. Now and again, not all the time, but now and again, because I do have quite a few good nukers and he's a really really strong champion and he just in this style of build he offers you a little bit different right and i'm going to explain why i use him particularly in this build and where i use him uh it, i definitely feel you should actually use take him out of the vault he's someone that can offer you something a bit different so we're going to go ahead and do a couple of battles uh today's champ champion showcase will be on no other than a candifrome i feel like people put him with perry and it's not the way to go right now um i don't i think swift perry is just outdated uh you only use swift perry if you really want obviously if you don't have many nukas you're gonna go savage if you want him to be like one of your best nukas but then the build i've got him in is very niche and uh probably a little bit difficult but more accessible for in-game players so i just want to go ahead and show you what the type of the build we do have quite a strong team in here anyway so as you can see, we do have a two four, six piece stone skin, which is like super, super strong. Uh, and I generally do like him in this build. I think that stone skin is his best build right now other than Savage. And honestly, I don't have enough Savage to gear everyone. And not every nuker is good in stone skin. I think there's only a few people that's good in stone skin. Candy also, worth pointing out, Candy has one of the hardest AoE uh, Sorry, one of the hardest uh, A1 hits as well. So he's got good, he's got good utility with, um, with ally attack, especially like Necrid, Cardio, uh, Lady, uh, Manic for any reason as well. Uh, if you have her, if you're lucky enough to have her. So yeah, um, obviously we're not gonna use her against Cardio. It makes no sense. I'm not very high up in the arena right now, so can only take on teams that I can see. Triple revive, super super annoying. Uh, a little bit squishy we don't want to lose a stone skin so the one of the things that i like about him is with his passive he's really really strong against arena especially against speed teams like Sifi. um the other girl that does increase speed gives an instant turn on the void legendary i can't remember her name uh arbiter obviously uh, and stuff like that because he didn't even get the veil so like people like georgie for example they can't target with a3 they can do because he's he's got veil up already and then his damage as well. The damage he receives is a lot less if he's under veil and he can put himself under veil. So like I generally do use him in live arena against speed teams. If I can't use a torment, torment is up there. Like if there's no block buffs, I'm using him. A lot of people use Hefrak and I see the have candy. It's like, why are you picking uh Hefrak over candy? For me, candy's the better nuka, no? Um Maybe it's a bias thing, but for me, it's he's much better because like survivability is better. Uh, Hefrak, if you're not actually yeah, careful enough, like champions like Turvolt, for example, just smack straight through his stone skin because he's so squishy. And that's not the case with Candy. Candy still has really good survivability, much better than Hefrak. And that's just two comparisons. Also, if you have like a big bolster or if you have a good bolster, then Hefrak is only going to hit once, not hit twice. So. It's an easy way of stopping Hefrak in Live Arena. Or even Classic Arena is just use a bolster, to be honest. 
um especially if you're not like super squishy as well so you can see here we're going to do some damage um we've got ally protection we have bolt work so we've got uh sorry python so we've got passive to worry about here as well uh we have weak affinity from duchess which is something as well that'd be a bit different i'm gonna go ahead and click on duchess because we will struggle against her a little bit just because we're weak affinity but you'll see that my candy will get them down in no time and we will generally should be fine here um i'm not too sure if i set up the rotate the uh, champions ars correctly but it's okay it's better for the showcase right uh warlord pretty op anyway um pretty strong so you can see duchess went down quite early there and duchess is like one of the reasons why candy is probably not so strong it's because a lot of people have duchess right i mean imagine not having duchess in in-game content it'd be pretty slow and a bit frustrating so i mean she's been around long enough as well so as you can see we'll slowly and surely grind down this team with ally attack on the a1 you can see it's pretty nice a uh, 30,000 there we've got to deal with in killable right now i also feel like survivability is much better for in the stone skin than it is in the um in the um with Perry build so again we've got another person here speed team pretty easily this is something that i would probably use candy for in live arena uh bear in mind as well if you've got stone skin it gives you like immunity option if you don't have um if you don't have an equid you can use a udk like udk will give you quite a bit of protection especially with duchess as well um you know udk will also soak up candy one of candy's hits not all of them but it was so cool, whatever. And so for me, that's it works quite fairly fine. I do like to open up with Candy's A3 and then just go with the A2 because I like to wait for their reaction, and that's why I want him to be slow as possible. I want this reaction to go, I want the bolster to go, and generally just to work in my favor, like so. Here we are, we've got Hefrak here. So Hefrak has a good example. Um like both the same factions really uh kind of similar like but both two champions are good in stone skin and i see more hefrak in stone skin than i do candy i don't see a lot of candies in stone skin at all so you also need to point out you need a lot of, you do need good stats you know it's not easy getting good stats so that's something to bear in mind we are running double bolster right now so that hefrak is not really going to do anything against us as I said earlier, it's like something to kind of control and how many hits he does. I like to set his passive off quite early as well, especially if I know I'm packing a good bolster set. So there we are, three, and we just broke the swift. We just literally just broke the stone skin there. A uh, couple of swift parry sets in here, which I guess it is what it is. We take a hit there from Monkey, so we soaked that up nicely. Probably not the hardest hitting Monkey in the world, but hey ho. And then we'll pick him off one by one. Ooh. And we'll take um, Hefrak out here. Like so. I do use my candy quite a bit as well in 3 vs 3. And I generally like him in 3 vs 3 build as well. Anyway, so there's a couple of fights just to kind of show what he can do. He's not a P versus E champion at all. He's P versus P. We all know that uh, and stuff like that. Let me go ahead and show you his builds and stats and what I'd recommend. Some key masteries as well. It's something that I'd be looking out for. So let's talk about Blessing there. Uh, blessing, uh, you could, I'd say for Savage, to be honest. Uh, for Savage, I think Phantom Touch would be better. Uh, I think for uh, Stone Skin, though, and I think Stone Skin is his best set, and that is what I'm gonna say. And I'm gonna stick to my guns there. Uh, is Lightning Cage because you we do have a chance to lose Stone Skin. It's like a 50 50, right? So that would generally help you a little bit, and you just want to try and stay and not get debuffed at all. So generally, you want the stacks to be quite good. So the higher level of uh, Lightning Cage you got, the better it will get. So generally, you want to get up to level four, get an extra. 25% critical damage. We do have a six piece 
And it's worth pointing out as well, counter attack set would be quite good on him. Let's talk about masteries then. Uh, my masteries do need a bit of update. Um, so for example, what I mean by update, cycle of violence is something that should be taken. Um, it's definitely a mastery they should be taken for sure. Uh, shield breaker as well is probably something that I'd recommend with so much bolster around over uh, Heart of Glory. Um, so yeah, I would probably go one, two, three, and then here swap this in here. I use use always use Kaimar to be honest. So that's why he had that mastery in the end. As you still see, see it's still quite free. And then just here you want to get in the retribution and uh, deterrence just to try and counter attack for that A1 because that A1 is pretty lethal as well. That's why we like allied protection with him. Uh, as well, it's worth pointing out if you can get the stone skin, uh, you can do like a HP tune with Necrid, for example, and detect another strike, uh, detect another um, Anuka over him, especially for like Rena. So these are his stats. We've got 7,283 attack. We want slow speed as possible. We don't want to outrun the um, the stone skin too early. We we'll want to make sure that we are doing pretty well. And if we want to make sure we crit capped, and we've got the critical damage at 293. I would like a bit more. Uh, I would like to see 300 plus, but at the moment, I don't have the stats in stone skin to kind of do that. We have got the um, ally protection. Sorry, the counter attack piece as well here. So this will generally will help me. Uh, as you see, I have been HP tuning. I probably will check this, uh, change this one day for attack. And then we have extra critical damage there. We have attack ring with tactical stats. We also have uh, attack boots, which will get re-rolled at some point. And then tap percentage, really beautiful chest there. Critical damage, the gloves do need to be changed, to be honest. So if we can push for like critical damage here, this will be absolutely mwah, you know? Because <clears throat> we're going to be packing an extra 20% critical damage. Uh, we also will change these, looking for more attack and, and, and stuff like that as well. When I get around to it, just got a few more champions that I've all prioritized. And as you can see, more good critical damage there. Um, my Hefrak has the same kind of similar build, but nothing like crazy compared to these stats. So there we are. There is my candy. Uh, let me know down in comments if you are using candy why you're not using candy or are you has this video changed your mind about using candy um i want to really hear from you guys and i want to i just want some ideas right i want to hear what champion showcases do you want to see um what kind of content do you want to see let me know down in the comments about that uh, i'm really interested in to get some community feedback and give you guys the content that you need or want um do you want to see more sand devil teams for example um, and stuff like that so yeah um i have got a few more sand devil teams in the pipeline uh any reworks and stuff like that a few ideas as well uh so i think i'm pretty close to breaking into something but we'll just have to keep an eye on that all anyway, right uh i've been grim reaper please remember to like comment and subscribe it helps with support this channel and for me to keep bringing you daily videos and uh go ahead and go check out my stream for grim reaper tv raids this is where we do all my live arena on my account i do try and release videos now and again but they are quite long and quite tedious so i generally try not to release too long as videos uh and yeah go ahead hit that smash button i'll see you in the stream or in the next video i've been grin reaper peace